unbelievable winter. Are you, are you going to be staying there? Or yes, staying it's a forever. Is it a forever? Yeah. Somebody's coming. Okay, here she comes. We now have to get out of the way so you can see. Kevin, how did you get so tall? When you got tall, it all happened in the We should play a little background music. Oh, yeah. Um, we forgot about Marley. You forgot what? Bob Marley. Oh, that's right. Now, what are you waiting on now? Now, Julie. Yes, tall Julie. Speak into the mind. I don't know. Now, these are talking pictures, so you're going to have to talk to. Yeah, Julie, someone's here. Oh, they are talking. The fun jacket to wear. Julie, where is the prom? Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, should I move my car? can enter. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. I'm just going to tape everybody. You are dressed, dressed or not. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 You have teeth? Thanks. <laughs> Just brace yourself. Okay. okay. See the rest of it. <laughs> Don't move. Okay. All right. All right. This is really why we should be trying. This is yeah. the I don't know. Really. opportunity yeah. here. Yeah. It's an excellent Oh, I don't even know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
I think they should have We need Snoopy here. No, no, you're not. Hey, that's okay. These are movies. Freezing to death, aren't you? <laughs> Is there anybody still taking pictures? No. Why don't we get them inside? She's freezing to death. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. That's it for outside. She probably is by now. Well, she is. She must be. I know. She just has this thing. I know. I know. Come in. Hi, Jim. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, that's what you've done for him. Oh, that's the least you could do. They're good kids. Oh, they really are. This one was the best one. Just born right. Oh, I That's it, you have to be a gentleman here. I'm catching it all on camera. That's good right there. We'll have the limo guy just drive up on the lawn. How's that? <laughs> Studman. Wow. Now, who are these, Bill? Who are these people? This is uh, Drew and Teresa. Drew and Teresa. Can you move? Thank you. You guys can go ahead and pull them up. Smile. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, you're not taking us. We're not dressed. <laughs> oh, we have to take everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was formal. I, I'm oh. Okay, 
Four kids? Out. Three. 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 Come on, get your act together. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, that's terrific. Now, close ranks. Yeah, real close. Okay, a little closer. Real close. That's it. Okay, here we go. Okay, a little cheese. That's as good as we can, huh? Hang on, give it a second. You're fine, right, terrific. Oh, that's goose purple. Okay, one got that. I'm gonna go move the car. Oh, my, I'm I don't wait. Yeah. Okay. Kids, get out of the foot. Come on. Get out. I'm gonna tell him to go to the right. Dad, yeah. yeah, this 3960. Yeah, it is. Okay, Trina, of course. Goodbye, guys. Uh, 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 Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful time. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Where was the Sheraton? Boston. Where is the Sheraton? Chris, I think I'll wear the little, yeah, okay. I think the black one is going Whenever you guys are ready. Yeah, do a couple at a time. Do a couple at a time. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Austin. Okay, go ahead, Ann. Go ahead, guys. Austin, 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 Austin,
Yeah, he's fine. alleyway behind Rick's house. This apartment. Hey. What's going on, Kev? Up to his door. Daddy, I want to see one I don't know if you've been 
USS Taurus submarine. Aquarium. Are you taking a picture right now? Tell us all about it. 
How does it feel to graduate? I just I can't believe it. It's a mayor card. Don't you? you look so happy. Thank you. I don't want to sit like this for the next three years. No. Where's your mommy? Watch that hand, boy. It's on videotape. <laughs> it's on videotape. I know it. What are you talking about? No, I
way of you showing your continuing support. Over the years, you have helped us with our problems, encouraged us to keep trying, and most importantly, acted as role models for our achievement and success. Tonight, you will witness the so-called fruits of your labor. Each of us in the class of 1991 has worked very hard to arrive here this evening. I think it is safe for me to speak for the entire class when I say, we've done a good job if we do say so ourselves, and we are extremely proud. Because we are such a talented group of individuals, I personally find it not a scary thought, but a very comforting one to, to know that we, the members of this year's graduating class, are the leaders and role models of tomorrow. Now I would like to say a few words directly to my fellow classmates. Although it is a cliche, I think it is also very appropriate. This is just the beginning. There is still a long, hard road ahead. But when you're traveling that road, remember, at least your high school days are behind you. And number two, those who love you are there to support you. And number three, you are all products of Centennial High School, one of the finest schools in the nation. And with the strong foundation they have provided you, it is possible to achieve everything that you set your mind to. On that note, I would like to close with a poem that I hope you'll find very inspiring. And by once again thanking everyone for coming and wishing all of my classmates the very best of luck. The poem is by Shel Silverstein, and it is called Listen to the Mussels. Listen to the mussels, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never-haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. I now introduce you to our principal, Dr. Sylvia Patila.
this group of nearly 300 wonder what the so-called equivalent of Columbia's Harper's Choice would be like. And the other half of this 300, these so-called hoodlums, wonder just how snobby Dunwalling kids would be. <laughs> these middle school identities last about two weeks and all come together as freshmen at Centennial High School. Friendships are quickly made through both athletics and academics, and suddenly the class begins to function as a whole. Even though the class becomes more united, most still remain apprehensive about high school life. High school symbolized a new period of life where responsibility grew immensely. It was a time when many crucial decisions were to be made. It was a time when a new class of eagles was to be born. June 1991. The class of 1991 leaves the halls of Centennial last time with students. Graduation comes, and here we all sit ready to pass on to another stage in our lives. Senior year has brought our class together as never before. And we feel both joy and pain at the knowledge that our high school years are over. Just as we entered CHS four years ago, we are about to enter a university, the military, or the workforce with the same fears that we had as freshmen. We had been you know, through a lot throughout the last four years. We have come through the anxiety of freshman year, mediocrity of sophomore year, the trials of junior year, and the domination of senior year. <laughs> All this so that we can sit here tonight and be soon to be graduates. Yes, it is time for us to leave the nest. It is time for us as well to move on to bigger and brighter things. But before we do, I think we should look back at the four years we had at Centennial. Centennial has given us more than our share of experiences. Centennial has been the focus of our lives for the past four years. After all, Centennial has given us a lot more than just an academic education. It has helped us mature mentally, socially, and physically as well. Along with the pressures of school works and finals, have come a lot of memorable experiences. We've endured the spirit of homecoming and the elegance of prom. We've gathered behind innumerable athletic teams who enjoyed both sweet success and the dismal failure. We've helped the community immensely, both individually and through organizations. We've matured as leaders. We have come to terms with the problems of the world as well as the reality of death. But as we reflect upon the last four years, I think we should center our attention on senior year. Senior year has been the climax of our high school experience. We've come to know our classmates like never before. Just look what has happened over the last nine months. We started a food fight at the crab feast. Our float was beaten by the juniors overflowing chicken at homecoming. We slaughtered the rest of the school at the battle of the classes. We watched Mr. Smith and Mrs. Lambrose get it on at the senior blue hour.
Presley spent the last four years revolving around the events and life of Centennial High School. The world has kept on turning. The past four years have brought us a new president, an Olympics, the end of the Cold War, and a failing economy. We graduated at a time when the future of the U.S. could turn in any direction. There's a time when nothing is certain for any of us. But if Centennial is prepared to do anything for anything, it is, to, it is the challenge to conquer the world and not to be conquered by it. Even though the thought of leaving the security of high school and home may be frightening, Centennial and the people in it have gradually prepared us for this stage. We have the confidence and, deter and determination to venture forth into whatever field we choose. William Blake once said, if no bird soars too high, he soars to his own two wings. But Centennial has given us the wings, and all we have to do is use them. So as we set forth in the next stage of our lives, we will use this newfound confidence and determination to reach previously unattainable heights. And as you move on to become a hokey or a terran, a blue hen or a nittany lion, or whatever you have chosen to become, I offer you these final words of advice passed on to me. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive Him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations, and the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Strive to be happy, be cheerful, and remember, you'll always be an eagle. It's been great. Thanks.
This poem is, is, is an example of a good thing that can come from something as tragic as the loss of a classmate's life. It has taught me a very valuable lesson in life, and I only hope it can do the same for the rest of the class of 91. This lesson is that whatever hand is dealt to you in life, whether it be positive or negative, it should not control you. You must control it, make the best of it, and look onward towards brighter times. As I keep this message in mind and related to what is happening today, I feel that we should not look at this day as a sad end to our high school years, but as a joyous new beginning to another stage in our lives. This brings me to the final step in our graduation and the duty which I am to perform today, the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel symbolizes this new beginning and the new directions which we are all about to take in our lives. It is now my honor to ask Centennial's graduating class of 1991 to please rise. And join me in the turning of the task.
We have come together to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the marriage of Johnny and Kitty. As we join them in their joy, we join them also in their gratitude. God has set them among us as a sign of his love, and through the years they have remained faithful and fulfilled their responsibilities as parents. Let us give thanks for all the favors Kitty and Johnny have received during their married life. May God keep them in their love for each other so that they may be more and more of one mind and one heart. Brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, that the testimony to Christ is confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Our response will be, Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his way. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Happy shall you be in favor. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Happy Happy Lord. 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 Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Happy Happy Lord. Lord. We gather, of course, for a very important celebration as Johnny and Kitty renew their continued commitment to one another. After 50 years, they certainly become a sign to all of us, not only a sign about love, but about the reality of love being enfleshed in two persons. The reality of that love is borne out to their children, to those of us who gather here to share this celebration, and to their presence to one another, it's a sign of the presence of Jesus in their lives. But now, I'll ask them to recommit themselves for another 50 years. <laughs> Johnny, do you continue to love Kitty as your lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. Kitty, do you continue to take Johnny as your lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? Lord, Lord, increase and consecrate the love which Kitty and Johnny have for one another. The wedding rings they want to exchange are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In the tender plan of his providence, God, our Almighty Father, has given married love, its faithfulness and its fruitfulness, a special significance in the history of salvation. Let us therefore call upon him, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all holy, you have made marriage the great symbol of Christ's love for his church. Bestow on these your servants the fullness of your own love. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all holy, the faithful one, you ask for and respond to the delegate to your covenant. Still, with your blessings, your servants are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You live in eternity with the Son and the Holy Spirit, the oneness of life and communion of love. Grant that these, your servants, Kitty and Johnny, would be mindful of the covenants of love they pledge to each other, to the action of marriage, and never fail in fidelity. For this we pray. Lord, in your providence, you have ordained that all genuinely human experiences should become ways of leading the faithful to share in the mystery of Christ. Grant to your people serenity in good times and bad, and the will to stay close to Christ and to live for Him alone. For this we pray. Lord, Lord, in your prayer. It is your will that married life be a lesson to Christian living. Grant that all husbands and wives may be witnesses to the wonders of your son's love. 
for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning you made man and woman, so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of Kitty and Johnny, so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, preserve the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their bond of peace, so that, surrounded by their children, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, the Almighty Father, give you joy. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in death. May the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you all for joining us today on this very happy occasion. Uh, it's not often that the bride and groom get a chance to uh, ask that their children and grandchildren be introduced, but after 50 years and the second time around, uh, we're happy to do that today. My name is Jack. I'm the first uh, born son, and uh, today we are honored and privileged, this is Michael, my, my son, uh, to have in the wedding party uh, virtually... <laughs>
just want to blind call me. Oh, it did? This the first thing. We'll take care of it. Pressing that red button. No, it's already going. Is a red light in there? Yeah. I see the recording sign up there, but it just went. You're right. Somebody just went. The camera up to the VCR, this? like you had. Oh, okay. That's yeah. where the plug is. <laughs> is it? Is it HP? Yeah. Let me oh. see. I've never read that. Like, well, what do you mean it's twice as fast? It's twice as fast. What as can it do? I can't type in that thing. Well, oh, no, it doesn't do the same thing. <laughs> you mean the function of it is twice as fast? You use spreadsheet type stuff. Not like that. No. no. I, I know it's on the same page. Hi, Laura. It's got Lotus on it? Bill, Bill. You mean the logic board in it? Yeah, the shit is twice as fast. The calculation is twice as fast. It just takes you ten times longer to plug in the calculation. <laughs> At least. Mm. Yeah. Bill's got to Bill's got to fix stuff so it just sings. Well, he can't sing. Oh, oh, he does one finger at a time. He can't possibly. Can't add. Sing. <laughs> <laughs> can't add. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Which calculation is this? Oh, it's all. It's, it's all backwards. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't get it. It's so reverse Polish. What are you going to use it for? Oh, how, how do you get to do the letters? letters? How do you get to do the letters? It's that alpha button. The, yeah. the one Greek letter of alpha. Okay, I'll. Come on, you can run into it a little bit. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Actually, it'll, it'll do What is the thing? It helps with the calculus. Hi, Kathy. It, it helps with chess answers. Because uh, when I was taking calculus, they purposely designed the equation so that doesn't lend itself to being done on the calculator. A lot, a lot of times that's true, but um, look at that. Like we're doing sums and stuff now, you can do and sum <laughs> iteration. In my, my chemistry, 
Chemistry? I like chemistry. I just never took it because it was uh, not part of my major. Yeah, I'm taking my one semester. Excited on the. Uh, oh, you didn't take any more physics? I, I see. I was, you know, I was like, double major in physics. We all were together the last time. We planned it all this time. We planned it. Was all, we, we planned the, the portrait then, but it wasn't until we were all here that we all made our commitments to yeah. come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the portrait, oh, but that wasn't very much ahead of time. Two that was maybe weeks. four weeks. That's when we realized that we were all going to be in the same place at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Took advantage of it. I'd show you the picture, but it's <coughs> wrapped now. <laughs> it's too bad. Yeah, you'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> so you think they'll come back tomorrow morning? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. No, they'll come back. <laughs> Probably as much as they can. Yeah. Because everybody will. The yeah. cigarette will be gone already, so. <laughs> you'll be like a vision. <laughs> Did we really see her? <laughs> bought the tickets, I had no idea what my life was going to be uh, like at this point. You know? yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much did it cost for you to get? Well, it was 365 and then I had to pop on another 75 and then another um, 7 or 8 for the taxi. So that's mm -hmm. my, my travel stuff. So it was 428 So um, well, how much was your ticket, Karen? 328 Oh. <coughs> Mm -hmm. But I had to get to Phoenix. That's 18 each way, so that's the exit, though. Okay. And, With a commuter flight? And five days at Fox to 300 a day. <laughs> That'll mm -hmm. do it. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I know you'll operate it overtime and make it up <laughs> in the know. next few days. <laughs> we know that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Those, those people are not going to come. I'm sure I should. I A lot. Yeah. And it's different colors. It's got a TV in there. What is it? Oh, yeah. Is it a big screen TV? But it's got a VCR in it. I've got three VCRs now. Three VCR in your kitchen TV? And I connected the kitchen TV to the living room TV so that I can have HBO in the kitchen. You don't want to be deprived. No, yeah, really. Okay, good. Say hi, Mom. 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 Hi, Mom.
10 to 4 according to your watch. <laughs> no, it's 4 15. 4 15. She's leaving right about now. Okay. okay. This will be such a surprise. How about you? And we're very good at the subterfuge. Yes. <laughs> I told you I'd see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello. Oh, another blue? Yeah. Is this another blue person? Yeah. Are you the person? <laughs> Hello.
Uh, white glare. Oh, we have. And oh, oh, same oh, labs. Yeah. 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 Y
Seems kind of light for light. If I zoom in. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Well, that's everybody getting ready for this big map. Uh, yeah, that that makes it low light. I think it's like, I think if you have a large light behind somebody, you hit back. Oh, right. Okay. It, it'll, it'll, I read about it. I can't remember what it is. But I was wondering, I mean, if, if you, you, you decrease the shutter speed, right? Yeah. Marty would know. Yeah. You're going to find very devious children. Yeah. Oh, my God. Tricky, tricky. Can we put that up here? Yes. Do you remember when you asked after after everybody had gone home? Did, did we get a picture of all five of you together? Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what mean is, is that? What is it? Give it give it to your wife and see if she knows. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've grabbed enough of those. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. <laughs> you can feel it all the way through the paper. What brand is it? Right? <laughs> What's your favorite brand? That's most important. It's the right brand. Okay, it's the right brand. Yeah. The only debate was with or without nuts. No. No chocolate. <laughs> okay, you gotta you gotta tell your tell your wife what you got. <laughs> Pictures I know, but yeah. turn over the front. Turn it over on the front. Oh boy. What is that? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> For me? Yeah. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Various items from Ellis Wise Junkyard. Dad Michelson. Dad It's appropriate. Okay, now you got to read hers to her. Yeah, read it. Mom Michelson. A million dollars and fifty cents gift certificate. Lingerie from Fredericks of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This is the card that really goes with the picture. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> or with everything. <laughs> See, we know what they offer for wedding anniversary, for 50th anniversary now. <laughs> Wishing you joy on your golden anniversary. Wow. That is pretty. With warmest thoughts and wishes, because oh, today man. of all days is that special anniversary that you'll remember all of Bring you all the joy of day like this can hold and may you share more happiness as the golden years of the world. Congratulations. This is, uh, this is from Sigrid and Connects with And the next 50, um, this was our best secret of all time. Uh, <laughs> it sure was. Here's Ricky, happy 50th anniversary and 50 and so many more. <laughs> Thank you. Um, mine says, surprises are so much fun. Love, Karen. Bill says, 50 years, wow. <laughs> here's Wes signing. Uh -huh. um, here's Chris and Bob. You can't ever get away from all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Chris and Bob. Um, this is Ryan's 50 years, huh? Kind of hard to imagine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's 50, so you're just half done, Marty and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first 50 of the toughest in California. Yeah, you thought you had yeah, daughters living in California, yeah. too, didn't you? Did you turn and it on? And we were yeah. talking about all of them on the way over here. I'll yeah. bet you were. Okay, I need a smile. That's the best you can do? <laughs> there, okay. We did it. It's just taking it easy. It's just taking it easy. I didn't know what was going on with the merchant because I hadn't had it. That's when they would open up the thing and then the merchant would come out. And then the men had it. And he already had them put away in some kind of, you know, where they stick old. Uh, old, uh, records. Yeah. 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 Because I haven't had uh, I just, I got a lot of the face. Downtown LA has a new way of getting out. Some patients are doing laser. Yeah, but I saw 2020 last night that the laser is not very good. They weren't talking very well about the wall. Yeah. What was what yeah. form of it? It wasn't effective or yeah, it caused more damage than you're grown up. So. I think more damage. I don't know. And uh, but they were not talking good about it. You kinda wonder about that the laser if it's if it's hot enough to burn that stuff away. Yes. 
is it too hot to where it starts destroying the <laughs> tissue around it? Yeah, that's what they were afraid of. Yeah, but it's it's inside of a fluid. So it's going to be heating up the fluid too. So they don't really they pulverize it with, rather than dissolve it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a flash burn. I, like. I mean, Mar it doesn't have enough time to heat up. Since the fluid is a lot clearer than what it is, it's not on this fluid long enough to heat up in any temperature by then. This is a Thing on this, on this I have hearing, you know. I don't make it kind of clear up. Yeah. That's a long time. Well, I know about them usually usually, but I guess they did show them missing, but they were kept from my head. They're long. Yeah, I was exactly the same. Well, he said it was better. Yeah, he's he's touching these lines. He's just. He's the operator. He's better. He's better. Selling it. No. No. I put it on no question for my first time. No, no so question. You think I have a question? She says it's she good, and you, exactly you, you perceive it. She's the normal person. Yeah. Yeah. You're the one putting the fingers above people. Then. Something's then, not right. And then he was saying that uh, I had Michigan glasses, you know, so but I went and got yeah. in high school, one for near and one for near. In high school, she had just no. graduated. I came into Einstein. Right. And this guy came and he says, What are you doing here? No, the glasses was here that I'm using. I'm the same as the glasses. Please, and and he says, what are you doing here? You graduated. And I said, no, that's not right. Who is that? Um, Bob Burdett. What? Well, people used to mistake her and I. Many times. Well, people used to mistake her and I. Many times. When I came up in this more before than I do now. I don't know. But when I went up to visit her at college, yeah. and we had our bags taken, yeah. I was walking down the room at college, and her roommate was behind us yeah. on the bed, and we were talking, and just, you know, facing straight forward, but we were talking, and she was finally talking, I think it was it. Yeah. Yeah. And she, we both turned around, and I think if anything, we said, well, you sound exactly the same, I can't tell the difference. Well, I don't know, like, optic, I don't know whether, don't you remember this? But you know, you know, you know, you know, if you got in the back of your eye, oh, that's what everybody is saying. Yeah. 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 I mean, I cannot yeah. tell. You would really? have spots where you can't see. Mm. You know what she says all the time? She says, I'm going to do more than that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she got the kid crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she says, now all the things that you were telling me about, now I'm thinking for my own kids. Like this weekend when I, I thought that the whole thing was going to happen. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you got it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, absolutely. Watch, watch. I'm going to do it after we all turned around. Did I smell yeah. <laughs> New perfume? It smells like cheese and onions. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's the what? This is a perfect conversation. Everybody's <laughs> what? Really? Oh, good job. He's teasing. Oh. I'm teasing him back. Oh. He's got some shows. Don't worry about it. They're not talking about it. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've already had best time for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Throw it back on your eye. And you got to do it. So what on? Yuck. Your lens. Lens. Oogie. <laughs> Oogie. What if it changes back the other way? And you make it too uh, short. So there's supposed to know that. That's your job. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, really? Yeah, why not? Happy anniversary. Oh, what birthday cake. Oh, a big anniversary, anniversary cake. cake. Come on. <laughs> oh, take a picture.
Is everybody here that's supposed to be? Yeah, everybody's yeah, here. Yeah, the rest are Yeah, the rest are behind. Oh, open the front. Happy Hi. anniversary to you. Happy anniversary. Oh, I can't do it. Please don't. Let's take a picture straight down on it. You both have to do it. Oh. Okay, ready? Up here, Bob. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm gonna slice it up for you. Isn't that beautiful? beautiful yeah. Happy 50th you made it yourself, right, Ellen? I slaved. Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like red. Yeah. 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 Wait till it turns green. Okay, it's green. There you go. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I got a picture before it was cut. Yeah. Maybe the video should have been Well, I have some of the video. He wants to see it. Can we get the makeup the same cake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wes was doing it at the same time. So we have some of that stuff. Yeah. We were walking around doing stuff at home. Yeah, that's right. I know. killed the kid. Boy, y'all didn't forget anything, did you? Oh, you managed to get finally. What? Who's the one She's doing it. She's like, oh, get in. I know it. It's where you get the cake of spit and you're not yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, at the time, you know, I had no idea what my schedule was going to be. So. Yeah, I was wondering, you know. Yeah. Well, I was going to be here Friday night, and things just went uh -huh. screwy. So. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we promised it was the night. The way that things were happening yesterday morning, it was a good, it was a excellent, you know, there's no way. And then he says, well, tonight at 11.35, and you arrive at 9.30, and I said, okay, okay. So did you leave that at that age? Oh, yeah, I oh, left. Okay. The red eye. So I went out, and when the sunshine came out, I got in my car, because Connie had gone to work by this time. Yeah. Got in my car and just made my way real slowly across, you know, L.A., and went through my danger zones. You know, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and I <laughs> love the freeway. Yeah, she's three miles from LAX. So mm -hmm. I parked my car and she came and then I called up a taxi and he took me over and I got on at quarter till twelve and mm -hmm. arrived here at nine thirty this morning. Was he full night sleep? Have trouble mm -hmm. No, he knew he knew was going. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I just let him do it. <laughs> and, and totally rested with a full night's sleep. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Gourmet yeah. meals. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't slept since five years. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs>